Rosie. The two traveling dogs, Brickle and Digby, want to tell you, you don't need to be a mountain dog to get Rocky Mountain High. We are going to take you there in this Colorado edition of Stop Hounding Me. Oh! Now here, meow, no, no, this is stop hounding me, stop, stop meowing me. <laughs> now, uh, here to try to uh, reach the peak, uh, the pooch peak, so to speak, with our canine questions, we have with us... Sandy, Cat, Kim. And you guys are with? Safe place for pets. Great, now I have to ask you, hopefully you're not scared of the dizzying heights of knowledge that we reach on stop hounding me, are you? I think I'll be alright. <laughs> I, honestly, I think you will. You've obviously seen the show before, so yes. Now, to prove that you are ready, uh, I would like for all of you to howl with me one time. Howl! At least you didn't throw in the meow. You could, be, you, could, you could have offended me, I'm not sure. Now, uh, that was great. Let's ask the first question. Here in Colorado, the second state song is... Rocky Mountain High! In Colorado. Wow, very good. Now, we have uh, canine viewers and feline viewers, so we want that kind of translated into their language. Please give us the feline version of that. Meow, 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 meow. Wow, very, very good. Now, the canine edition. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> wow, I, you created your own version, didn't you? Because that's a, a little up high, you know? Yes. Great, great, very musically talented people here at Safe Place. Uh, perfect. Now, the second question uh, that we have for you. Uh, Colorado was the only state to turn down the Olympics. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't know that before I got here. Again, dizzying heights of knowledge that we have here. Uh, the question is, if a dog could enter the Olympics, um, what would be his favorite Olympic event? Hurdles. Sledding. Wow, very good. I would think uh, for a Brickle and Digby it would be curling because they would get to, you know, sweep in front of the thing <laughs> with a tail. Actually, Brickle only has a little stub tail, so I don't think he would do very well. But actually, very, very good. Do you have an answer? You can give this one. I don't. That, then very good. Okay, that was okay. perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> um, the last question uh, that we have, if a dog was a policeman, Brickle and Digby are known as the sheriff and the deputy, but if a dog was an actual policeman and he pulled over a cat in a traffic stop, what ticket would he write? Driving while grooming. Driving while grooming and? <laughs> Speeding in his Cadillac. In his in his cat a lack that was uh, that's that's a great answer. Actually, I was going to say that he'd get pulled over for a broken tail light, and uh, it, it, well, I, no, that, you know, like I was saying, actually, Colorado. There's a town in Colorado where if you let your cat out at night, you have to have a tail light attached to his tail. Amazing, huh? A dizzying heights of knowledge indeed, indeed. Uh, that we have here. I can only tell you that with those answers. You guys have won an episode of Stop Hounding Me If You Howl! Meow! <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Now, let's see what you guys have won. The animals under your care, more precisely, have won. We have some four-legger organic uh, shampoo for dogs. We also have the squeak and snap. Squeaky, squeaky! I'm not even going to pick it up. I'm going to make the sound. Squeaky, squeaky! Uh, but that plugs into your phone, takes perfect pictures of the animals. And as well, we have Bowser beer. As I always tell people, unfortunately, it is non-alcoholic. Uh, otherwise, I would have drank it before I got here. But a non-alcoholic uh, treat for dogs. And of course, we have 15 pounds of pizza powder. Uh, bulk dog treats um, for the animals under your care. I don't know if the cats want the dog treats, but you never know. You, know? you do but never know. You, you don't. You don't. <laughs> now, uh, tell us a little bit about <laughs> right. Tell us a little bit about a safe place. You guys have a couple of unique problem or problems. You guys have a couple of uh, you have that couple of unique programs. Uh, you guys are a very unique place. Um, one of your programs is called Safe Placing. Please tell us about that. Um, so our safe placing program is the program where people who are terminally ill or our relatives, friends of someone who's recently passed, uh, contact us to rehome their pet. Um, so that's really what we're doing is we're bringing in a well-loved pet and rehoming it into another fabulous home. 
Wow, that, that's, that's awesome. Now, the next program that you have is called Wellness. Please tell us about that as well. Uh, wellness is for folks who are terminally ill, who are living at home, want to keep their pets with them as long as they can. We help them by coming in and uh, contracting with them about services. So um, we can do litter box cleaning, grooming, taking the dog to the vet, talk, walking the dog. It's really what the person needs and what we're able to provide based on our volunteer staff. Um, it's, it's more about keeping the pet at home with the person as long as possible. Um, and then at some point during our contract with them, if they decide they can no longer care for their pet and they want us to take it into our safe placing program, we will do that. You know, it's great because as we uh, always find with different organizations such as yours, um, it, it's not just about helping uh, the animals, which is really the focus, but it's also about helping people. And what you guys are doing, uh, it, it's, it's, in, it's an incredibly big help. We have seen uh, examples of the peace of mind that be, can be given people that are terminally ill when they know that their, their pet is going to be cared for. Some people fortunately have family, but uh, for those that aren't in that situation or may have a, a, a different situation, what you guys are doing, again, bringing peace of mind for these people as well as something wonderful for the animals and of course we want to always mention that some of the animals that are up for adoption will be featured on the two traveling dogs website as well as two traveling dogs facebook page and of course you can always go on to the safe place site and safe place um, Facebook page as well uh, to see the animals some of the things that they need of course is volunteers uh, in this uh, in this beautiful area uh, and as well uh, donations of course are always accepted always. but more importantly than anything else uh, if you can uh, help finding a home for one of these wonderful animals that uh, have been with their uh, with their owners for a long time but now they need new homes and uh, it's so important more than ever in a situation like this as Brickle and Digby always say please make rescues the breed of choice and finally on this Colorado edition of Stop Hounding Me, could we howl one time together? Ow! You did the meow, you yes. stupid <laughs>